Okay, um, tonight's Europa League final uh, kicks off in what, four hours' time. Uh, it takes off to place between Arsenal, Chelsea and Baku. Uh, there's been a lot of negativity in the build-up to this final in the press. Uh, there's a lot of negativity from fans who are unhappy with the ticket prices, travel, accommodation. Uh, Chelsea and Arsenal fans have been very vocal, especially the supporters groups, about the ticket prices. But now it is time for the football to do the talking and the negative headlines can just go away until the game is done. But obviously Arsenal are missing Henrik Mkhitaryan, and that is part of the build-up to this game. He withdrew from the squad about a week ago, citing safety concerns. He's Armenian, and of course the final is in Azerbaijan. And if you are not aware of the, 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 the history between the two countries over the last 31 years, the conflict between the two actually started under the former Soviet Union, towards the end of the Soviet Union uh, as, as, a, as a sovereign state. There was a dispute over future land, which erupted into a full-blown conflict in the early 90s. Now, Henrik Mkhitaryan has cited safety concerns. He's not even in the stadium. He's not travelled at all. He is back in, in North London. And that is a massive loss for Arsenal. So that could be a key, key, key tactical loss for Arsenal and a tactical game for Chelsea. But Chelsea, on the other hand, they're under a lot more pressure than I think Arsenal are. Arsenal, this is an opportunity for them to win their first silverware post Arsene Wenger with Unai Emery. And Unai Emery is a bit of a genius when it comes to this competition. He's done it with Sevilla so many times uh, that I think he, he knows how to win Europa League finals. Chelsea, um, Eden Hazard's last game, most likely. Uh, Maurizio Sarri, he's under a lot of pressure. This could be his last game in charge as well. I think more pressure is on Chelsea than Arsenal. Um, I will say this, both sides have gone on lengthy win streaks this season and unbeaten streaks in the first half of the season. So they can play some really good football. They can score goals. Uh, but then the second half of the season, both sides have had their wobbles and gone on lengthy losing streaks or, or lesser form. They're not consistent enough, which is where I'm thinking this could be a very open, exciting game. Um, some of the games Chelsea have been involved in have been high scoring. Some of the games Arsenal have been involved in have been very high scoring. The issue with Chelsea is the League Cup final was very, very dour. And of course, last year's FA Cup final, a lot of the players there are here now. And again, that was a really poor game. So occasionally Chelsea can shut up shop and just make the game defensive. And now with Sarri in charge after Conte, they like Italian managers at Chelsea. The Italian manager you know, thinking is get ahead and then defend. Except this season, Chelsea aren't really capable of defending as well as they were last season. That's part of Sarri's tactics. And of course, Maurizio Sarri has never won any major silverware, whereas Unai Emery has, has won a fair bit as a manager. Both sides have been in cup finals, both in Europe uh, and uh, domestically in the last 13 years. I had to go back to the Champions League final 2006 with Arsenal. There are no Arsenal players on the pitch that are in their last European final. However, there are a lot of Arsenal players on the pitch that have won the FA Cup under, under Arsene Wenger a few years ago. So they have that winning experience of big finals. Chelsea, obviously winning the FA Cup final last year with Antonio Conte. They also have that big game experience. Plus, they've also won the Champions League and Europa League in the last decade. And there are one or two players uh, and, and, and coaches involved with Chelsea now that were involved back then. So... Both sides have this big game mentality when it when it comes to it, but these aren't the teams of yesteryear. These teams, I think, have declined in quality. And defensively, both sides have been very, very open this season. I do think Arsenal missing Mkhitaryan in midfield is going to be a big blow for them. But Chelsea, with the pressure that Sarri is under and some of the negative tactics they've had, if they get off to a slow start and Arsenal, who do have pace in there so I can get a goal, it could open Chelsea up, which I think is what's necessary. I think Chelsea will probably do better chasing the game than being ahead. I think it's better for the game. We know Arsenal can attack brilliantly. It's defensively that Arsenal have issues. For Chelsea, it can be their tempo. And I think it's an interesting one. Eden Hazard has to be key for them today. Willian has to provide an outball for him as well and be you know involved. Kante, he can distribute. He can break up the game. Their midfield is going to be, be crucial for how... Chelsea play today. If they have a, a poor game, Chelsea as a whole will struggle. Arsenal defensively is their big weakness. Um, and if they, if they concede a sloppy goal or a sloppy free kick or make some errors, that will affect their confidence. So Chelsea wouldn't want to target, you know, Arsenal defensively early on with, with crosses, corners, put them under pressure, make them feel a bit nervous. Arsenal want to really shut down that midfield area and use their pace again to to 
to target Chelsea's defence. It's going to be interesting. If Chelsea are, are narrow, that could prove interesting because they've been narrow a lot this season and crosses have been pinged in and they've struggled with that. Arsenal, it's just general defensive organisation. It's going to be a fun game. I believe it will be a very open game. I think the shackles are off because both sides are already qualified for Europe next season. It's about who qualifies for the Champions League and who qualifies for the Europa League because that will affect who goes to which competition next season. Both sides have European football next season from their league finishing position. And Unai Emery has won this competition a lot. So I'm going to have to slightly favour Arsenal if I was to pick someone and be a betting man and put a fiver down. I would have to say Arsenal. And I think it can be done in the 90 minutes. If it is to go to extra time and penalties, I think it then favours Chelsea. If it's done in 90 minutes, it's an Arsenal win. If it's extra time penalties, it's a Chelsea win. Um, but it's fine margins. It could be a high-scoring game. It could be a very low-scoring game. Time will tell how well will the pitch hold up. That's one, because it's an Eastern European pitch. In the past, they have been iffy. The atmosphere in the stadium, that's going to be interesting to see with so few uh, fans from England coming over and some tickets being returned how much atmosphere will the locals give and how loud and passionate will be the Arsenal and Chelsea fans also what will the weather do because they're on the on the edge of the Caspian Sea thunderstorms at this time of year are a thing uh, in the Caucasus and they're at the base of well some of the highest mountains in in the world the Caucasus is a lot higher than the Alps that can affect how the weather you know happens they could there be a thunderstorm? Could there be some rain? That could be interesting. And of course, the overall, it's who can also adapt to the time difference as well because they've obviously travelled out there. Are the players jet-lagged? Is there a little bit of acclimatisation to, to the local climate? Because it can get very, very hot as well and hot and humid in Baku and all, uh, at this time of year. But then it can also storm. So the conditions... That's going to be a key as well. But for now, I'm going to leave that there. I will be watching the game. Then I'll be doing a match review. So I will obviously have the whiteboard up just back there. And of course, I'll be chatting. Uh, and I'll see you guys then. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Place your comments below. And I will have some more videos for you very, very soon.